So if you're a beginner and you want to start trading options, how should you do it? Let us find out. The first step is to learn as much as you can about options. Second, once you understand the basics, then you understand different option trading strategies. What market situations you need to apply them in? What are the pros and cons of a certain strategy? And if at all the market goes against what you plan for, how you can adjust those strategies and still come out on the winning side or manage your losses in that adverse scenario. Thirdly, you learn market scenarios. You make a list of them in which certain option strategies work well. If you have a list of options, uh, market scenarios and the corresponding option strategies, it will be much easier for you to select the correct strategy for that particular market situation. Then you need to develop a framework which will help you identify those particular market situations in live market. The best approach is to select not more than two or three option strategies and not more than one or two specific market scenarios which you are going to trade. First become master of that and then you expand your market scenario list and the associated option strategy list. Lastly, you have to be patient because these instruments options are very, very complicated. The strategies associated with them are complicated. Understanding and developing and identifying and segregating market scenarios in itself has been a difficult task and we have been trying to master it for so long. So overall, there is a steep learning curve. And if you try to jump the intermediate steps, you might get lucky on one or two option trades and then the market will strike back and take more than what it has given you. In the last few years, option selling has become the next glamorous big thing in the markets. Option selling is just one of the strategies in this whole option universe. It's not the be all and end all of uh, becoming a successful trader. People ask me, when should you not buy options? Option buying probably costs you the least amount of money. But there are certain factors that you need to consider before you go on and buy options in the markets. The first thing is the levels that you expect the markets to reach. Second point is the amount of time it is likely to take to reach that particular level. Both these things are into the future. Where the markets will go, how fast will they go there? All these things are in the future. And I am a firm believer that you cannot predict the future. So answers to these questions can be educated guesses at best. The answer to these two questions needs to be compared with how much time is remaining for the expiry. The strike price you have chosen to take advantage of this particular move. And lastly, the overall market conditions. Are they really volatile? Are wild moves happening in the market? Or market is just stagnant and caught up in a range and just doing nothing. You need to be aware of the overall market conditions and when those conditions are likely to change. And if you have answers to all these questions, you will be able to answer this question when to buy options and when not to buy options. So once you understand whether you should buy an option or not buy an option, the next question is whether you should buy an in the money option or an out of the money option. Obviously, we discussed about deep in the money options and how they replicated actual stock positions or futures position. So if you are not sure how long it will take or if you do not have sufficient time left for the market to move and you still want to give yourself a chance that if the market moves, I want to make some money, you go for deep in the money option. If you have sufficient time on your side and the likelihood of a big move is very, very high, then you can reduce your cost by going a little bit out of the money. Out of the money options are always cheaper than in the money options and your cost will be low, you can buy more number of options and if the view works out, you stand to make much more than buying a deep in the money option or an in the money option. Now there is another question which is asked by the skeptical traders, you know, uh, the old timers who still believe in buying and holding the stock uh, and they don't want to get into options and they will always ask uh, why are options so dangerous? Because they have heard about those horror stories where people, you know, sold bunch of options and the market moved drastically. 
lost all the money blew their account all those kinds of things now you need to understand that options are as dangerous as any other instrument in the market whether it is a stock or a future whatever whenever it comes to financial instruments all instruments are equally dangerous and the amount of danger is directly dependent on how much you understand them the only difference between a simple stock and these options is the amount of leverage if you have 10000 rupees you can only buy 10000 worth of stocks but if you have 10000 rupees you can buy multiple times of these options instruments multiple times of amount of stock with just that 10000 rupees and that is leverage that leverage is a two edged sword so it can make you a lot of money in a very short period of time and it can completely ruin your accounts in the same amount of time so be very careful when trading options but if you understand them well if you understand the risks and how to manage them then options become very very interesting and a very very viable way of making money in the markets again another question is can you lose more then you invest in options absolutely if you are selling options you will be charged certain margin amount and if the market just blows out let's say you have sold a call you are expecting the market to stay below a certain strike price but the market just goes higher some news comes in i don't know what but market just keeps moving higher well be beyond your uh, strike price and if you don't do anything about that option you stand to lose huge amount of money that has happened with traders traders who have sold options carried them overnight and overnight something a bad news comes and you get a down circuit and people have lost their homes forget about their accounts huge amounts of money because of this kind of indiscriminate trading decisions and then comes the question of what is the maximum loss you can have on a call or a put option now again it depends on whether you are an option buyer or you are an option seller so if you are buying an option your maximum loss is limited to the premium you have paid so in our example of nifty 12000 strike price 12000 market price you bought the 12000 call for 100 rupees market does not move higher your loss is limited to that 100 rupees into the lot size so for nifty it is 75 so you will lose maximum of 7500 rupees but if you sold that option you will receive 100 rupees premium that is your maximum profit and if the market starts moving higher and higher and higher you will lose much more than what you got that you may receive 100 rupees but you can lose much more in multiples of that if you don't do anything about that position so if you are an option buyer your loss is limited and your profits are unlimited in theory and if you are selling an option your profits are limited and your losses are unlimited in theory so you have to be very very careful of what your option strategy is what your option position is what the maximum loss is what is the maximum profit potential what are the probabilities involved we are going to go deep into all these topics very soon so stay tuned subscribe to the channel enable the bell notification and i will bring a ton of content on options going forward for you so thank you for listening to this video till the end and on your screen there are suggestions for the next video you should watch and i will see you in the next one